Hey guys, this is Travis Single with MMA Meltdown. It is Saturday, February 19th. It's in the morning, and we're at Fusebox Gym here in Broomfield, Colorado. And right next to me, we got Todd Maris. How you doing, buddy? Good, thank you. Good. good. Now, uh, most of you got, most of us around, you know, Colorado know you for your great amateur career. We know you suffered your recent uh, pro loss to uh, Jason Lee and stuff. But how's everything going right now for you? I'm good. Just taking some time off. Um, I got a medical suspension. I got yeah. served, so I'm kind of helping out with. Garrett, who's fighting this next week on um, the fight to win card, I've we've got other fighters trying to help, so I'm trying to, I'm a coach in a middle school, so it's kind of fun to do the coaching side of everything right now, when I don't have to worry about me as much right now. Yeah, so, exactly. So, so how's your health right now? Do you feel good? Yeah, I feel great. Oh, that's I'm good. Fine. I'm just kind of being precautionary. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. Yeah. Got to serve it, so I'm yeah. still taking it. Yeah. yeah. Take it easy, so. Yeah, as far as, uh, what's your background and stuff? How did you really get into that? Um, well, I was a, started wrestling in middle school and found some success there. I was actually leaning with basketball and wrestling. Going into high school, I wasn't sure which one. And then I ended up choosing wrestling. and was a two-time state runner-up in Wyoming uh, in our biggest classification, I guess. Like 5A here, we have 4A there. And, uh, and got a couple scholarship offers for wrestling. Wrestled a little bit in college, played football in college. And after that, I stopped competing. I started snowboarding, actually. Yeah. <laughs> kind of. That's interesting. Became, uh, yeah, I became, uh, uh, I'm a certified snowboard instructor. Oh, nice. um, got a couple certifications there. Um, that kind of became my life. And then my wife and I, I started following all this, you know, a little bit of the UFC and everything. And just was like, oh, this is something I could do. And um, ended up finding a fuse box. We going to check out other gyms. We came here. And after, like, two days here, Never even looked yeah, at her, I've not been able to sign on, and I've been here ever since. And uh, um, so I just, my wrestling background is something that's really helped out a lot. But um, I really feel like I've improved in all aspects of the game for sure, and, and really enjoy working here and stuff. So. Yeah, as far as uh, most of uh, other guys, even the big known guys, Shane Carwin, some of these other guys, they think that the wrestling is a big part and the core yeah. of the MMA future. You agree with that? Okay. Or where are we at? We're yeah, <laughs> just I mean, I don't think you have to be a wrestler to be successful, obviously, yeah. but I know it's saved me or helped me a lot, just, you know, positions and the, the mental game and then the physical game, you know, like, even when I started doing, like, the jiu-jitsu and the samba stuff, I could feel from wrestling, oh, I'm going to get into a bad spot, and I knew that, just yeah. from that, that sense from wrestling, yeah. um, but I didn't know what was coming, yeah. but I knew something was coming, yeah. so, um, you know, that helped out a lot. Um, and then just, um, that just helps me, it's been helping a lot. Yeah, so, it just helps so, you a lot. Yeah. And uh, obviously you said you've been watching EOC in the past, so there's some of the guys that you look up to and stuff, just um, either currently or even in the You know what's funny is I, I feel kind of guilty as I, uh, I started jumping in on this when uh, I, I, I was really into lifting weights and that stuff. And I did Muscle Fitness, and they had an article about Brock Lesnar. Oh, nice. uh, he was on the cover. I knew Brock because I, when I wrestled in college, he was actually at a tournament that yeah. I went to. Nice. And so I knew who he was. And, yeah, University so, of yeah, exactly. Yeah. And, yep. And I, I uh, started reading that article, and then like the next month, Kimball Slice article. And so I was like, "What is all this? And what's going on here?" And then that's kind of when it just yeah. started. Escalate. So, yeah. so yeah, I kind of got into it. Yeah, kind of yeah, into yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and then, yeah. you know. Then just kind of went from there, but I have a lot, you know, I do look up like the car wrench, um, GSP, you know, all those guys, you yeah. know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, top eight yeah. guys. So. Yeah. Now, well, what would your uh, clear path like to take you? Would you like to get in the UFC? Would you like to do Bellator? What's some of the things? I would love to, to be on any of those yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah. I know I got to get a string of some rings going here. Obviously, that, that loss sets, sets back things, mm -hmm. but uh, I'd love to, wherever I'm, I have no expectations right now with this. I'm, I'm a full-time teacher. This isn't my livelihood. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's a nice little extra income or hobby, I guess. Yeah. Um, so, And I feel that takes a lot of stress of winning away a little bit. Like some people, like if I don't win, I don't eat. Yeah. Yeah. Or I, you know, yeah, that's not, right. that's yeah. not the case. Yeah. yeah, so I can be out there and be relaxed and just have fun. Yeah. Do it, so. yeah. Is it a better thing to have that for you, too, where you, you, know, you don't have to concentrate on the life of that thing, where you don't have to have huge sponsors and stuff to be able to back your career? Is it um, a lot easier on you personally? I think so. I would like to get up to that level, yeah. though, and, and I would love to... Yeah, more money. Get, yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. I would love to. You know, teachers aren't... Yeah. We complain about our pay. I mean, it's not bad, but, yeah. um, you know, there's a lot of budget cuts, and yeah. there's a whole other conversation. But, yeah. um, so things like that. Uh, but 
I would love to have have this be my full yeah. Yeah. fun. Yeah. Yeah. But tell some of the people where you actually do teach. Because what's that? Yeah, where do you actually teach? Them? Oh, in Brighton at Overland Trail Middle School. Right. That's where uh, Garrett and Shan Culpepper both went to middle yeah. school. Yeah. Yeah. All of our kids feed into pretty much Brighton High School, and uh, I'm a football head football coach, one of the assistant wrestling coaches there, and, yeah. and a PE teacher. So yeah, my brother went to the econ. So. Oh, yeah, that was good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah that was where you belong. So yeah. I just went to Brighton. <laughs> so, so, so that way. Uh, but uh, you know, as far as teaching the kids and everything like that, how was it great to be able to uh, you know show your success and just being the dominant way you had an amateur and doing a great job in pros and then showing the kids what you could achieve? You know, yeah, like stay on the straight and narrow. And you know, I, I try to use that as motivation. And a lot of kids are. I try not to bring it too much into the school. I try to keep them separate a little bit because I want to try and be professional school. Like I'm yeah. just, and I try to say, you know, let them know I'm not out there like brawling on the streets. Yeah. You know, this is totally a sport. Um, and a lot of kids are finding me on YouTube. Oh, I saw your video, and I, I mean, I think there's a lot of kids now. All of a sudden, it's kind of getting bigger because yeah. uh, things are starting to get bigger. As you know, I'm getting more known. So my videos are on YouTube. I got like a highlight video. I got the Jason Lee fight yeah. on there. Um, it was fun. Oh, I saw you got Nick knocked out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, yeah, just that's the part of the game. But yeah. Do you think it's uh, you know it's kind of really because of the, how big the sports been getting as far as you get the popularity, or do you ever get like problems with you parents or anything finding out that your career? Because sometimes we'll get certain things where people just don't agree with what we do, oh. or even report on it, and the main people act like it's really like street fight, like yeah. you're going out. You know, yeah. it's beating people up and it's not sanctioned or anything else. So yeah. Oh, we're to get back on No, you know, I I just had a parent teacher conferences a couple of weeks ago uh -huh. and there was a few parents, oh my kids show me your video and, and this and they are they're just very curious about it. They're yeah. they wanna know, you know, yeah, yeah, and there's a lot of people I love to watch you know, I love yeah. this that and that. So they I haven't had any negative uh, anything about it. So that's been great. I hate to have some parents go, oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, you're a fighter, huh? I don't know about you know. And uh, my principal kind of knows about it. He, he, we got a new principal this year, so he, my old principal is very, he actually comes and coaches judo here. So the old guy, my old boss, I guess, so he was very supportive of it, and then his name was kind of running about it and stuff like that. So, yeah. um, it's been good. Yeah, so as far as uh, the MMA world is, what do you think the MMA has brought to you as far as even your normal day life? Like, uh, how has it treated you over the time? Is it just really much of a hobby for you, or is it something that you definitely want to take to the next level? I want to ride this horse as long as it until it fucks me off. Really, I guess that's an analogy I'll use. Uh, I, I, you know, I think when I, when I first started, my wife and I, because she trains here too, and we were like, well, I'll, I'll do it, and then maybe we'll see how it goes after three fights. I don't want to leave my first one and say, that's it, I'm done, and you know, and so on. So I said, three fights, and then I end up having success. So now we're, you know, I want to keep going until. So maybe it's just you know, I'm not, you know, producing whatever you want. And I'd like to get into the coaching side of it for sure. Um, and what, how, how it's helped me in my life, um, I'm healthier, I'm lighter. I used to be like 230, just lifting weights, couldn't really, you know, um, uh, I could throw around stuff, weight, but I couldn't walk from here to the door very good. Yeah. You know, uh, so I'm, 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 I think I'm healthier, more confident, you know, out, out in public and stuff, I always worry about people. What they said, said yeah, yeah, whatever, yeah. And I, you know, and so now I have confidence that you know I'm, I can handle myself, you know, yeah. self defense, I guess. Um, and the biggest thing I think is I moved to Denver from Grand Junction mm -hmm. to, to be with my now wife. She lived here, we were in long distance, and uh, and I moved here with no friends, didn't know anyone. I knew her and her family, and that was it. And then now I have this family. Yes. Um, last week with the Fedor fight, we had people over at my house. Yeah. My house, my living room was packed with yeah. pizza. People over. And we were like, my wife and I the next day were like, oh, that was really cool. We had, you know, we have people with more of you know, social life, I guess. Yeah. So, um, and like you just said, the Fedor's last, uh, last week, what was your take on that? Ah, um, I don't and think he's really done, done yeah. That's you know, I, you know, I know, a lot of people are talking about him going to 205. It might not be a bad idea, but yeah. I mean, that's his choice. Yeah. He's banged with all those heavyweights for a while. I mean, I, and he, he, I think they had him winning the first round, didn't yeah. they? Um, if he could have just not gotten taken down, I think he would have fine. Well, no, I, that, he, I, I saw a lot of people, even on Facebook and stuff, criticize the guy where, you know, Dana White, of course, posts on his yeah. blog that, you know, laugh and said, oh, you know, I told you guys he was a joke, even though he offered him like 25 million. Yeah. But, oh, fine, but that, that was another story. But, yeah. You know, he still got 
Sylvain and that leg bug or a hill bug yeah. to end the round. And people yeah. are like, oh, he's washed up and he's done and everything like that. He was never worth the hype to begin with. I, you know, what do you and, think of that? And, and he, if you watch him, he was defending himself. Like, there was a lot of shots of Warren Landon. He was yeah. blocking with his arm, moving the yeah. head a lot. Um, you know, just some of those didn't land. I mean, the guy's hands are this big, yeah. you know. They're going to land. You yeah, know, he didn't knock him out. Like yeah, that. Yeah, he took a lot of shots and, uh, and he defended that leg lock and then he got his own. I think Silva's foot might have been too big. And, yeah, you know, I know. Yeah, they the don't for a career. Yeah, and, uh, <laughs> exactly. You know. And I don't know, maybe the doctor would have stopped it. Who knows? Yeah. You know? yeah. So, who's some of the sponsors and teammates you'd like to thank? Um, geez. I'd like to thank, first and foremost, is um, Fusebox, Michael Sullivan, all my teammates here, Garrett, um, Bo. Howie, there's a list of lists I can't think of everybody right now. JR, Jorge, I mean, there's a bunch of guys. Michelle, Shannon, uh, my wife, Chrissy, for sure. She's my, you know, love and inspiration and support. Um, and, you know, Boost Inc. is a good friend of mine. Brandon Boost helped me out get these shirts, banner for my last fight. Um, Clyde Consulting, who's a, a high school wrestling teammate of mine. Um, uh, the Five CrossFit, which is down the street over here. Um, Brute Force Sandbags helps us out. I mean, there's a bunch of my people. Sorry if I did. Yeah. So, well, appreciate yeah. your time. Hey, thank you very Thanks, much. So. I appreciate it.